everybody and welcome to Bluff Hill Jams. This is the show where we try to showcase and highlight some of the up and coming talent here in Zimbabwe. This land is very rich in musical heritage and we're very honored to have some very talented musicians here. My name is Alex Ave Lalamont. I'm with the U.S. Embassy here in Harare. Um, I'm very happy to have with me as my guest today Mbeyu and his band the Mozi Tribe. Welcome to Bluff Hill Jams. Thank you Alex for having us here. We are very happy to be here. Hi ladies and gentlemen. Always playing with the crowd. Very yeah, good. Yeah, it's always. <laughs> All right. So, Mbeyu, um, let's just start. You've just rocked it with your first number. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got your start. Um, yes. What? Yeah, start with that. Yes, uh, I started off my musical career at Pakarepaya Art Center. I was nurtured and groomed by the late, legendary Dr. Oliver Mtukudzi at Pakarepaya in Norton. So, it was in 2010. Uh, then I formed my band. I uh, started off my solo career as Mbeu in 2015 because I was once part of a group uh, at Pakarepaya there because, you know, Pakarepaya has got so many artists. So basically I was part of a group that was called Chete. And then later on in 2015, I started off my solo career. And I have four albums to my name and I've got over 150 singles. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So we're only going to have time for a few of them and not all of them. but uh, Unfortunately, yeah, we're going to have time for a few. I think yeah. the audience would love to stick around for all of them, but it's going to get dark <laughs> soon. Um, so Mbeu is a, is a stage name, right? Tell me more about that name, what it means, and why you chose it. Yes, uh, I didn't. I, I I didn't actually choose it. Uh, it was chosen for me because ah. the first song, uh, my first recording, uh, my first song in the studio was called Mbeu. So people didn't know my real name. My real name is Ashton Tapiwa Nyawora. So, you know, the name is pretty much long and people for people to like remember it, you know, they were just like, Oh, come fan again, guy, that Mbeo guy, that Mbeo guy, and then I was like, No, how can you call me Mbeo? My name is Ashton, how can you call me Mbeo? Then they were like, Unon Zimbeo we will you Mbeo. So I just had to I had to embrace the name and you know what? Then came the Mozi tribe band. Okay. And in Bayo itself, does it mean anything? In yes, uh, it means the seed. In the English, seed. it means seed, yes. Okay. Okay. And, you know, basically my music uh, gives life. You know, I, I want my music to give hope to the society. Okay. I want my music to build the people. 
So you know, it's it's more like the cycle of life. You know, okay. There's a seed; it turns into a plant. The plant grows, and then it germinates seeds again, and it's just a life okay. cycle. Yeah. Right. Beautiful. Um, tell me a little bit about your musical influences. How would you describe your style? Uh, tell me, yeah, how how this all works for you? Yes, uh, Alex. Uh, uh, my music is called Afrofusion. It's a fusion of many genres because I'm I'm not like uh, stuck at one genre. I do reggae, I do I do rumba, I do um, jazz, I do traditional music. So it's a fusion. I decided to fuse all all types of genres, you know, and make may make it one sound. That's an Afrofusion sound. But basically, uh, the roots of the, those sound is traditional, of course, because I'm Shona. So. The, you know the, the the my my inspiration is derived from the culture from my culture yeah yeah okay um talk about inspiration what about musically besides the shona culture that you're talking about yes. the 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 water that that you pour on the seed um, yes. and it turns into this beautiful music what what kind of where does that come from yes i listen to all types of music uh you know i'm 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 an R&B guy. I really love R&B music and uh, also jazz. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I, I sometimes I often listen to uh, some tracks that were done by, you know, these old school uh, guys who used to do music way back then in Zimbabwe also. So it's, it's basically a big ground that, you know, I, I really don't have a barrier. Like, I listen to all types of music. Zim Danso, I even listen to Zim Danso too, you know. It's music. It's uh, music. Some of the music that gets your toe tapping it's no a matter universal what, right? language. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> When it comes to songwriting, where where does that come from? What what are the themes you like? To, uh, you talked about about love and growth and stuff, but tell me more. Like when you want to write a song, and when it comes to you, how does it come to you? What what form does it take? Yes, uh, I'm 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 basically inspired by my surroundings, the way I grew up. It really helps me when it comes to writing music. You know, the way I grew up, the things that I see on a day to day basis. The, those are the things that inspire me to write, and uh, the things that I see. You know, it's basically, me, my music, like I said, it's all about, it's not really basically about educating the people much, but it's about the experiences that I've uh, been through, the things that I've been through, the things that I've seen, the things that, the things that I've learned, the things that I'm still learning. It's, it's about my surroundings. Mm. Yeah. One thing I've noticed as I've been lucky enough to host this, this series here is that sometimes the song is in English, sometimes it's in Shona. Yes. But when it's played well and performed from the heart and inspirational, you can feel it. And it, it, feel it. it doesn't matter what the language is anymore. Very we've true. had that experience with your first song and with some of our other Thank songs you. that we've Thank had. Thank you very much. Thank you. Where <laughs> I don't necessarily know, but I can tell. Like, you don't know what the words are, but you can feel it in here. And it, to me, that that you could find that anywhere. And uh it's it's one of these things that I think again we talk about connections that that connects us all and I know you, I, reading your bio you've performed in in a few other places outside of Zimbabwe tell me about that yes I have uh, I managed to uh, to do a couple of festivals uh, uh, especially when uh, you know we 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 lost uh, a legend you know we lost Dr Oliver Mtukudzi a couple of years ago so he had, he was booked up to 2022 so I had to finish up the tours with the Black Spirits band. Yeah, I was selected to do the tours. Standing in, Cape Town, in the footsteps of giants right there. Huh? Man, that was difficult. You know, <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, those, those, those shoes are just so big. You, 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 they're, you, they're big. They're yeah. big. You can feel them. Wow. Yeah. So, but so, I did my best. yeah, I, you know, like I wasn't there, but I'm sure you absolutely crushed it. I'm sure you absolutely did. I gave job. it all. <laughs> and that's what the audience responds to, right? I mean, this is, yeah. this is, we, you're out there, you know, opening yourself up and, and, uh, I think that's a good time to talk about this next song. We've got another song coming up. Why don't you quickly uh, uh, run down what that song is, and uh, yes. we'll go from there. Yes, uh, the next song speaks about family. It's called Hukama. You know, it, it, it talks about family, the importance of family. We all need family. You know, we all need friends. We, know we all need someone to be right by our side. So it, it, the song just basically encourages us to value family. Again, we talk about universal themes. There, there can be no more universal theme than that. So I'm really excited for you guys to get out there and, and do it.
mewe Tana ukarwana shamari yangu Ucha chengi chwa nani Au na amani we hunde Tana werumpa haripe chwa newe Tana ugafa Ucha wikwa nani po Hama tose wanka peza ne kuchinira Hama tose zaka enda wenti dandira Hama tose wanka tizinga wenka Hama tose wanka peza ne kuchinira Hama tose zaka enda wenti dandira Hama tose wanka tizinga wenka So the next song is titled Kondo. Uh, so Kondo is a bird. It's a Shona bird. Uh, Anzi. You know, this bird has only one eye. Do you know a bird with one eye? It has one eye. So enjoy the music. <laughs>
yet another outstanding number thanks for sharing it with us i notice when you really feed off the crowd and, and the intensity is that hard to do as a professional performer having to perform over and over again how, how do you find the the ability to do that man it's to me it's easy because i i guess maybe it's an inborn thing maybe it's an inborn thing but you know what i'm i love my job i love i love what i do so you know even with the guys you see the energy is just amazing we go to places where probably we find uh, our audience maybe running around and they'll be they'll be probably said we have to make them happy so you know we have to be energetic as at most as much as we can as as much as we can yeah well you can see the the, the crowd over here the, the, the audience is Are you enjoying the music yeah yeah <laughs> and you can see they started and the toes start tapping yeah. and the heads, you know and uh yeah and um it, it's obvious that the passion is there and and it, it's hard for me to say, but Thank wherever you, it comes from, it's there in space. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Alex. Uh, you got another song you want to play? Yes, uh, but this time we're going to play it together, you and okay. us. I'll try to match your intensity and passion. Definitely, definitely. The song is called uh, Stay With You, done by John Legend. And I know that, you know what, you're a John Legend fan, so 
I, I dream of being able to sing like John Legend, but it, it's just a dream. <laughs> uh, excellent. Let me pick up the guitar. Thank you very much for joining us, everybody, and we will see you on the next episode of Bluff Hill Jams. We've been together for a while now. We're growing stronger every day now. It feels so good and there is no doubt. I will stay with you Oh, I will stay with you Through the ups and the downs Oh, I will stay with you When no one else is around And when the dark clouds arise I will stay by your side